on, so I always pull the ground speed down a little bit for when you get to the 8 to 12 inch lumps. I'd say it's probably around about 7 or 8 inches right now. close the door up a little bit more, but I don't think you really want to make it. We're talking with Paul Sheeler from Auburn, Pennsylvania. Paul, tell us a little bit about what we're doing here in this field. This was a field of overgrown trees. They weren't Christmas trees. It was mostly Virginia pine and some hardwoods. And uh, we cleared it off, ground all the trees up in, that was standing in here. Uh, and then it was tilled and all the root systems and stumps were tilled in. Uh, then we went through here and we seeded it, fertilized it, limed it, then seeded it in oats and barley. Uh, the upper portion of the field will be replanted into Christmas trees next year and we seeded it into oats because uh, it's going to freeze out over the winter and we won't have to deal with the uh, matty root systems when we plant next spring. The lower portion of the field was seeded into barley and the uh, barley will remain in the field next year. Uh, we don't care what happens to it. We're not going to be harvesting it as grain or anything like that. Mainly as a ground cover to keep the fields from uh, washing and eroding over the winter months. Uh, spring of 2013, we'll plant, plant the lower half of the field. And you're going to plant the lower half in? The lower, the lower portion, actually the lower two-thirds is going to be planted into Fraser fir. The upper one-third of the field will be planted into Concolor fir. Okay. And uh, this was, uh, we used an FAE soil stabilizer here as a, as a main tiller, right? That's correct. And that was uh, how long ago? That would have been a week and a half ago. Okay. So we're looking at, and then you planted this a week and a half ago? I planted this a week ago. A week ago? I planted this okay. a week ago. This was uh, pl uh, planted uh, Monday a week ago, a week ago today. Okay. And uh, you uh, you watched the uh, soil stabilizer, the FAE soil stabilizer, working in your field, and we have this on video. Uh, what's your impression of that machine? I was very impressed with it, uh, the ruggedness of the machine and the, uh, its ability to uh, take on the heavier stumps and root systems that were existing in this field. Uh, I have another tiller of a different make and uh, that's the reason why I brought this other tiller in because I knew mine wouldn't take the, the, the punishment that this particular machine took. Okay, and uh, you, you did say, I think maybe on the film, you said this, uh, that's called a soil stabilizer or, or force or tiller. You did lime and fertilizers? This was, li actually this was limed and the phosphate and the potash was put down before your tiller came in here and tilled it. The, the soil stabilizer came in and tilled it. Okay. And then uh, I disked the field off after you were complete here, disked it off and then I put on about uh, 300 pounds of urea on the field as a nitrogen source to get the grain started. Very good, thank you Paul, I appreciate it.